All right, bone hair truckers. Now we got a good one for you coming from Tulsa, Oklahoma. We got this truck right here. TQT. Hit my truck this morning. The only way I found out is because it shook my whole truck. I mean, the damage ain't that much, but they hit my truck. That's what they did to their truck. But then we'll go on the other side as they tried to run. They come around and hit this truck. Literally. And they were trying to run. I up there addressed them this morning saying, hey, you know, you guys hit my truck. They were in a parking space, I guess because when I told them that they were already in the space and when I told them, hey, you hit my truck, that's when they want to sit there and say, oh, we didn't hit your truck, but then why did you try to run? Now you try and run, you come over here and hit another truck while you're trying to run. And damage that trailer severely. Yeah, that's Bonehead Trucker of the Week. Right there. <laughs> and there's the two drivers. There's the two drivers. se metió una super una, una super eh, wasp español este una, una avispa una avispa gigantesca Oh no, the, the wasp is going to get her, uh, get her, uh, uh, gender something, that's a dude. He screams like a girl. I'm just saying, I don't like wasp either. Hey, uh, it's Sunday morning and it's time for Tales from the Truck Stop. This is the place where we make fun of the dumb stuff we see in a truck stop, so if you like this kind of garbage, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button real quick. Uh, if you got uh, videos and pictures you want to send to see on Bonehead Truckers, send them to contact at boneheadtruckers.com. That's our email address. That's not snail mail. All right. If you give me a floppy disk, it, I, 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 I can't do anything. So just say email. All right. I'm just in there saying contact at boneheadtruckers.com. Or if you just want to say hi. I may not say hi back, though. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm kind of stuck up. I, I'm not stuck up. I'm not. This guy is stuck here we go this guy is going and uh messing stuff up at the truck stop like that first clip like this is not the same guy obviously but it's kind of like it just like hey just here to screw it all up uh this is up in canada i do believe them snow mexicans man they sure know how to tear it up mm -hmm. yes sir How do you not know that that guy's there? That's what I'm trying to say. How do you know that that guy's not there? Hey, did y'all hear my email alert go off? I think someone heard me sit there and say that the contact at boneheadtruckers.com is our email because I just said that and I had the email pop up on my computer. I don't know. I got my microphone turned up pretty loud. But anyway, uh, watch this guy. No, he's not going to take a leak behind his catwalk because that's what I was expecting out of this guy. Um... No, that's not what he's going to do. Let's just sit here and watch what he's going to do. Yeah, bag of trash. Who, who needs to walk it over to a trash can when you just throw it out? Who, who needs to do that? This old feller's doing the crank of shame. Well, shame on that duck plucking mess. That's not how you supposed to do it there, big time torque rival. Speaking of big time torque rival, uh, this guy's washing his truck with a squeegee. That are made for windshields. I guess this guy's trying to get the bugs off the side of his truck, of his red truck. I don't know. I guess guys can't 
afford the streak and beacon anymore. Listen, it don't take much. I mean, you're making the big time bucks over. All right, that, don't worry about it. Go. You're in a white, I remember, for crying out loud. This guy pulls to the right to pull to turn left. That's not really how you pull out of a truck or, or out of a parking spot. You don't do that. Just pull straight and then turn. Uh, and then we got the tail swing. Watch this. This is the reason why you don't turn right to turn left out of a parking spot. This is because of that right there. Crunch. Oh, man. That sucks. That absolutely sucks. Hey, uh, for the you, those of you who are amateur radio operators, really, it's like two weeks away from this ham fest I've been talking about. All right, so hey, if you're wanting for more information about this ham fest in two weeks, uh, watch this. So a lot of you guys may notice I got some radios back over here on my side right here because I'm a ham radio operator. So I am formally inviting you to a ham fest in Shreveport, Louisiana on August 10th, 2024. You don't have to be a ham radio operator. Yes, you can bring in trucks there. I'll leave a link to the website, k5sar.com. It's at the Louisiana State Fairgrounds in Shreveport, Louisiana at the Ag Building. It's gonna be nice and cool inside. So if you're in the area, you want to join, if you're in a truck, if you're in a car, what have you, Come and join. I'll be there. We'll uh, have good fellowship. The Shreveport Bossier Ham Fest, August 10th, 2024. And if you need directions or anything like that, more information, k5sar.com. I'm at the TA here in Amarillo, Texas. I want you to look at this mess right here. Every pump is overflowing. I went in there and talked to them. They told me they changed the trash every three days. Well, uh, I don't think it's been changed all week, to be honest with you. Them pumps ain't been washed down, and I ain't even, uh, I don't think them pumps have been washed down in six months, young ones. But whatever. Uh, instead of bonehead truckers, this is a bonehead truck stop, but I guess it takes bonehead truckers to do it like this, right? Look at that, every pump's like that. Shame on the mess. Yeah, I'm over at the Flying J. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. It's probably something innocent, right? What is that? What are you freaking truck drivers doing with those things? It's going up somewhere it shouldn't be. You can let me know. Bonehead truckers. FedEx sitting in the fuel line eating his lunch not uh, caring about anybody else and uh, there just happens to be uh, 10 or more empty spaces Oh, hey, he must have just uh, saw me recording him. Now he's deciding to move. Let's see if I can get his face. Look at that. I got a car to park the wrong way in the parking base. 
that's how you're supposed to park this direction not lengthways like that like what come on man are you that lazy seriously you're taking up all the parking spots What the hell? Parked the wrong way or incorrectly in the parking spots. Damn. This dude just ran into the guy next to him. Now he's hitting the stop sign. You don't know what he's doing. <laughs> yep. Smash the whole side of this guy's truck. Got it pretty good. And now it seems like he's stuck. So, yeah, he's hit that stop sign a few times. Trying to run off without, you know, accepting what he did. So, yeah. I think he's gonna be in a little bit of trouble today. And this right here is a bonehead trucker. Now, I can see what happened here, okay? This flying J probably filled up at night, and so they stacked all the way out to here. But, I don't know if you guys could see, it is nine o'clock in the morning. Look, drivers, if you need to creatively park at night, and if you gotta stack out into the lane like this, then, once it's like five six in the morning and people start leaving and there's a spot or two open throw your hazards on keep it under five miles an hour stay off duty crawl over to one of these spots and park and get out of the way because when it's nine in the morning and people are shuffling in and out there's guys going in to get fuel guys pulling in to get breakfast whatever it is look half this place is empty now and he's still sitting in literally <laughs> Look at this. He's in the middle of the of the parking lot. Just parked. So, if you got to creatively park at night, that's fine. We we all get it. We've all been there. But once the sun starts to rise and it's time to, you know, everyone's moving out of the parking lot for the day, go move it to a spot. Get out of the way. You guys agree, disagree? Let me know. What's up everyone? I'm over here at TRC Freight. This is Stacy with onboarding over here. What is onboarding at TRC Freight? Onboarding is where you send me all of your documents on. So we can hurry up and get you here onboarded, um, get you rolling. As soon as you get here on a Wednesday, Thursday morning, you'll be able to rock and roll. So once you get in with the recruiting, they, you know, do all that process you're getting on with her and you'll be talking to her so that, that's her that's her right there trc and me.com